right now I'm going through a low motivation period but in this video I'm going to explain how to overcome such a low motivational period what I'm going to state is no rocket science you probably know about them already but I'm going to tell you how to master them and how to master your mind and get it done obviously you're not going to always feel motivated but you might ask so how I'm going to get things done when motivation is running very low, you have to make sure that you set realistic goals day by day. You set a schedule. But setting a schedule, obviously, it is not enough. You have to stick with it and force yourself to get those tasks done today. Without even knowing, you already had already tricked your mind into getting tasks done. But obviously, you have to force yourself, you have to discipline yourself to stick with those daily tasks. The primary factor of low motivation is emotions. Every human being is emotional, but you have to remember that you should uh, put in place, make a priority your mind and what is your thoughts. Your thoughts and what you get done on a daily basis are a huge factor in determining your motivation and your discipline. My second point, it is highly important that you surround yourself with people with the same ambitions and high expectations. Surrounding yourself with the right people will make you or break you. But having said that, you have to remember that even though you surround yourself with the right people that keeps you unmotivated, at the end of the day, you need to keep yourself motivated through self-discipline and forcing yourself to do to get the job done. Third point is to rotate tasks. Obviously, it is super tough to keep on motivated when you have hard tasks in hand. So what I do suggest is to rotate tasks as, as much as possible. For example, if you have uh, three particular tasks that you have to do uh, this week, what you do is rotate between them. For example, if you can switch on from one task to another in a single day, please do so, so you will keep on track and you will keep on working to get those uh, three tasks ultimately done. Also, it has to be said that a sense of accomplishment is directly linked with motivation. Also, this leads me to a previous point that I have made. Setting goals and get them done is directly linked to accomplishment. And especially when the tasks are hard and tough to endure. Basically, what I'm saying is to keep on uh, being motivated through all year long, it is highly important that you set goals, get them done, feel a sense of accomplishment, and that is directly linked to motivation and self-discipline. Another crucial point that I would like to mention is not to see the full picture, and I'm going to explain what it is. If, for example, you have five tough tasks to do to perform, and uh, obviously you're finding them uh, very tough to endure since you have five tasks tough to endure and apart from that you will be running low in motivation because you're finding it tough difficult to do them to get them done what you have to do in such situations is to perform task by task you perform a task get it done feel a sense of accomplishment uh, what i have stated in uh, previously in this video and move to the second job in that way you won't feel discouraged you will keep on feeling motivated and you will keep on forcing yourself disciplining yourself to get it done obviously there will be periods when you don't feel like to do nothing or you're feeling lazy or you're completely drained out of energy and this leads me to another point so do the small tasks and you do them, do them uh, at the most efficient way at least you're still moving forward, you're still progressing. But what you have to remember is that ultimately when you have such bigger tasks in hand, tougher tasks to endure, in order to keep on feeling motivated, you have to force yourself ultimately to do them. I know, obviously, you might tell me because uh, everything that I do has some sort of, of effect on my mind. It is uh, normal when you endure a particular tough task. It is a huge mental toll. Also, changing your old habits are a huge determining factor in determining whether you're going to see, keep on uh, being on progress, moving forward, 
staying motivated or not. For example, if you're a lazy head, for example, you cannot uh, make yourself uh, wake up in the morning. Try to force yourself to at least wake up 30 minutes before.